What's going on, everyone? It's me, Kiki Solano, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. We are talking freak athletes, fan cam favorites, and a future football matchup. Yes, no, maybe. Let's go. We've got another day full of football news, and usually I love it. But we've got some unfortunate news to start with. According to multiple reports, Utah grad transfer running back Devontae Henry Cole, who signed with BYU, is transferring to Utah State. Now, neither BYU nor Utah State has commented on this, but things aren't looking too good, especially since we had high hopes for DHC here at BYU. Definitely wanted to see him come in and make a big impact, so this is a bummer. But let's get to some positive news with some watch lists. Both James Embi and Kyra Tonga were named to the Outland Trophy watch list, an award given to the best interior lineman in college football. It's a good thing BYU football has a lot of pictures of Kyrus because they had to make another graphic for another watch list. After being named to the Bronco Nagurski Trophy watch list, an award given to the nation's most outstanding defensive player in college football. But the preseason honors don't stop there. Offensive lineman Chandon Herring was named to Bruce Feldman's 2020 college football freaks list. Very impressive. We're hearing a lot about football. Obviously, awards are still being handed out and teams are preparing for a fall football season. But there is still a lot of uncertainty as the decisions that have been made could still be affected by the governors of various states. For instance, New Mexico's governor has asked New Mexico and New Mexico State to suspend football and all other contact sports this fall. In New Jersey, the Rutgers football program announced that they would limit their attendance to 500 based on limitations by their governor. As for our other independent friends over in Indiana, Notre Dame's athletic director Jack Swarbick says he expects it to be a delayed season with about 8 to 10 games. Only losing 3 to 4 games? I could get behind that because at least we'd still have some football. Now, the real question is, could BYU be one of those games on Notre Dame's schedule? Yes? No? Maybe, hopefully. Look, they owe us a game. I want to make this happen. Hey, we came out there and played, boy. It was a great, great day for BYU defense. You know, the defense has played great. You know, what more can you say? Going from the top of the screen, Paulus throws into the hands of a BYU defender. And now Paulus misses the tackle. First play from Trinity. Oh, well, Ted out of the gun. Looks for Willis. And then two tackles to beat. Touchdown. Where does it rank in all the victories you I don't know. Right, right now, pretty high. <laughs> I can see that, Coach. Yeah, Congratulations on a huge win. Thank you. For thank you very much. Thank you. We spent the past couple episodes asking you for your favorite BYU fan cam moments. And they are in. With everything going on in sports, all the constant change, the constant decisions being made, I think it'd be nice to rewind back to when things were normal and we had some great moments coming for our Cougs. So, without further ado, I present to you our BYUSN Right Now Fan Cam Favorites. <laughs> BYUSN right now. Um, close presented to you by my fan cam. Go and follow us. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.